Greetings, Jedi Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for, here we go, week 35, day one. It is August 29, 2016. As always, please seek financial advisor when trading with your money. These videos are for educational purposes only, to support your knowledge in the market, to see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, last week of the month, uh, not sure we're going to have too much volume here. Vacation's rolling up uh, as we head into September. Got a lot of stuff coming up in September. We are pre-election. We have FOMC coming up the end. Uh, uh, rate hike? Yes? No? Who knows? Uh, we got contract rollover. So, and a little bit of volume returning to the market in uh, the month of September. So, we'll see how the week rolls out. Friday, best day, best day, best day, best week ever. Week 34. That's right. You can capture that right here on the week 34 recap with the uh, videos as well. Let's jump right into today, week 35. What a what a session uh, trending-wise. That's right, what a session trending-wise. Uh, we had a little bit of econ data, personal income, and outlays today. But there it is to start out the week. Three markets, three setups. Didn't capture the NQ right away, but it was right away from the YM and the ES all the way to the end. One trend, that's it. We'll take a look at that here on the chart. So there it is. Uh, looking at the ES, again, nice single trend up there. Again, not much to take you out. Following the HA bars, Heiken Ashi above the T350. Nice move, all five charts in the green. If you got out, somehow stopped out, you had an opportunity to get back in uh, as trend number two. So two solid trends today on the ES. One solid trend on the YM right from the get-go, right from the market open. Pretty much just a little bit of chop across in the red, but nothing else. Most of the charts in the green didn't really fall. And NQ, a little move uh, from the get-go, pulled back to the T350. That was it. Another bounce and back to the upside. Uh, that was the uh, one little entry we got there. So take it out. There was the ES on the entry above the Globex high. A little bit of a pullback. Not much to exit on. And buy signal or either ones all the way up. Just uh, front run that uh, target all the way up to the 4-hour T350. That's right. We'll take a look at those 4-hour charts. Uh, price action pulled back underneath the uh, two-minute chart. Did find that support on the 534, so that was good, but uh, decided to just bail there as we uh, rolled out the last 30 minutes of the market open, or the market day, excuse me. Uh, taking a look at the YM, that's all you needed. All green, all green. Yeah, we started to look a little red there, but uh, price action all the way up, front run it, passed one target after another. And there it was, fit projection level. That was good. We thought we might get to that four-hour T350, but price action uh, after this run, that looked good enough to take off a contract and sure enough, pulled back, but just simply chopped here. Never really got back up, so just decided to exit at the end of the uh, day. Found that support at the 534. No reason to exit. And, you know, once those uh, you got that green trend, you might as well increase those charts from one minute to three minutes, and or one to two, and then finally to three, and bigger time frames held upside all the way mentioned that nq again the first entrance on the nq no good it was the second one that uh, caught the trend here 25 minute open range high breaks above uh price action again uh exiting as price action broke around that uh 50 ema on the uh, one minute chart or two minute chart excuse me and then uh, price action eventually found uh, support here but we were looking at the 25 minute open range high once uh, price action pretty much broke that on a smaller time frame decided to just bail and call it a trade hey 34 ticks is 34 ticks right, let's jump into the ad line ad line for the today price action showing market internals nice move to the upside not going to fight that no one looking uh, for any counter trend start to look for a counter trend if you wanted to on the ad line coming down here in the 10 minute chart Price action on a 10 and a 5 started to pull down, uh, so a little bit of ticks uh, off the high, but uh, pretty much settled sideways. All right, let's take a look at the uh, take a look at the fib projection levels. Uh, nothing on the NQ, pretty much stayed in the middle. Uh, YM just a tick shy right up there. Uh, it's 18.504 and ES pretty much sat in the gap. Uh, daily gaps, speaking of daily gaps, none new formed. We closed out uh, several gaps on Friday session, but we got one down below here on the NQ. Nothing to the upside except crude. Nearest one, 48.56. All right, let's take a look at the uh, charts. Jump into the daily trend here. Let's start out on the crude, actually. Crude again, very much inside session after a nice trending session on Friday. There it is, chop within the Globe XI. No really uh, anything standing out. Same picture on gold. A little bit of move up here on the Globex high. It was a ZN. 
That's right. Nice move on the bonds here. Again, this is from Friday session. Sell signal again overnight session. London session again not being open today. So a little bit of less volume this morning. But again, nice move. Buy signal upside. And then break above the uh, Globex. And uh, you got yourself a nice move up here. All trending. At least four charts in the green. Went over that YM. There was that single trend today. So nice moving as T350 holding above the midnight open. Gotta love it, guys. HA bars holding you in trend with five charts in the green. Take a look at the NQ again. There was that first single move pre-market uh, over here. Break above the T350 holds up. And then bang, buy signal here in decision candle. It was the single candle here that broke upside. Pull back here to the T350. It was this uh, piece of the HA bars and it's momentum move to the upside uh, that caught my eye and that's what I uh, grabbed on the NQ nice move in the trading room all right ES again nice move we caught those two trends upside or you just simply sat on it nice move to the upside as uh, price action just small pullbacks here on a 5-4 flex Renko uh, standing out on the uh, other markets we take a look at EMD mid cap S&P mid cap 400 again nice move in the morning session a little choppy across here in the mid session and then nice move back upside five charts in the green and then uh, coming underneath the T350 by this point you're not interested hey you might take it a sell signal once it broke the uh, 50 EMA here that's about a uh, 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 probability move to the downside 70 percent uh, better than 30 percent Taking a look at the 6E again, Euro with not much volume today here. Price action uh, pretty much to the downside pre uh, US regular trading hours. Uh, not bad on the end, not much of a move though, uh, but buy signal here holding above the 50 and the T350. You got four charts in the green. Everything looks good on the Heiken Ashi bar. That gives you about a 90. Uh, well, we're not using the AD line on the, Euro, on the end, so that gives you an 8 out of 9. 88 out of 9 percent probability that uh, price action is going to lift i like it and uh if you're trading the yen today you got a little bit of a piece of price action looking at the beans pretty much inside action in the globex and the natty gas with a nice move today solid uh solid body candles again first initial move underneath uh you wait for the pull back up to the t350 and bang right to the downside one two three four you got five and six and seven so you got about 70 uh, seven out of nine a percent probability of continuing momentum and then there it is you got nine out of nine to the downside right there so beans nice move you weren't watching the indices and last look uh platinum here again very much inside session a little bit of a move here towards the end and that was about it all right taking a look across the board as we move into tomorrow taking a look at the indices here first we're sitting above the 5200 volume under par today but uh, again, Monday, London session closed, beginning of the week, not much econ data. We got multiple Fed speakers up this week. That might rattle the markets a little bit. Uh, we had a pullback here on the YM, but a nice move trending session today on the YM as it holds upside. Watching that T350, was hoping we'd get up there, but it was the ES that found that resistance there, so holding on there. As we roll into tomorrow, i got to go with the momentum still. Uh, we are in the green. T3 moving averages back upside. 50 is still above the 144, holding above the 50 and 200s. i got to go with the trend. This continued upside. Now, if we can't break this T350, then we'll look for the intraday pullback, but we'll see what the overnight follow-through is as we move into tomorrow. Uh, taking a look at the uh, crude here, we're still holding about the 5200. Uh, got a little bit of struggle here on the crude as we hold at the 50. You're going to have to watch for the follow through tomorrow. Uh, we are holding above just below the T350, so I can't give momentum the full drive, but 50 above 144, that's pretty good. We got more things going for us than against us that crude will hold up here, but uh, got to watch for the intraday pick to pull it through and to the upside if we're to go continue any further uh it's the gold and the um and the bonds here is gold as i've said over the last couple days gold still holding downside underneath the t350 5144 in the red uh, a little bit of pullback today but momentum has been downside ever since uh, about the second uh, what is it about august 21st there so we're about a week and at the bonds after a little bit of consolidation on the bonds uh over the majority of august uh pulling back here nice move we talked about that nice uh, move upside but again got the resistance here we've got a background of red so right now i have to go with the momentum still to the downside it doesn't affect what you're looking for intraday is intraday be ready in both directions but right now pull back up to the uh, 50 ema um uh, other than that uh, 
if we're to continue downside, watch for the uh, solid hike and Ashi bars, solid body tail down for bonds to come down. If not, we're just going to push right through the 144, bring that T350 up, and we're back in an uptrend. If you'll notice here, we're also on the bonds. We are underneath the 50 MA, so we're sitting in between 50 and 200. So as we'll look down, we'll look to the 200 as the next level of support. All right, wrapping up our uh, outlook for tomorrow's price action on the uh, EMD. That's the mid-cap 400, S&P holding upside strong. And above the T3 moving averages, 50 above the 144. Got to go with the EMD market momentum upside as we found support at the 144. Got to love it. Uh, 6E on the euro again, waffling at the bottom. Nice volume there on Friday, little volume today, but uh, euro coming back down underneath the 144 is the T3 moving averages. So momentum on a pullback here in a 50 above 144 still. Yep, market's still holding at the highs and uh, nothing telling me anything else. So uh, price action here, wrapping it up on the uh, yen. As we see uh, T3 moving averages cross downside, we got a T310 in the red. So we are in a pullback to the downside. That 50 is coming close to the 144. Again, we got announcements out of Bank of Japan, I believe, this week. If not, they stand corrected. And uh, a little bit of econ data still to come. Again, we mentioned the multiple Fed speakers up for the week as we roll out the month. Window dressing, there it is. Multiple Fed speakers on Wednesday throwing ADP and uh, EIA. Again, everything focused towards this next FOMC announcement. <clears throat> Jobless came, and then Friday, big Friday, and non-farm payroll. So that will be the week. Hey, we had to wait last week, guys. If you remember last week, it was all about four days of waiting. Week 34, that's right. We ended up with 1,400 ticks. Best week, best day ever as uh, we rolled out the market on Friday with, uh, let's scroll down there. There it was. Check it out. 412 ticks on the NQ, 376 on the YM, 114 on the ES. Great trending day. Again, take a look at the econ day for last week, like we'll do each week, and get the big picture. So, whatever you're reading, whatever you're watching, don't forget that uh, keep your eyes posted to the charts. Uh, be ready in both directions every day. All right, that concludes an insight into the daily trend, short and sweet. Uh, feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading one, mantra, one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter and at Trading Fibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me and on my charts. And as always, I leave your bias at the door when trading. Hey, guys, you got your choices when it comes to uh, trading rooms. You feel free to stop by on a Friday. Email me, david at tradingfibs.com. You guys could check it out, see what we do. Heikadashi bars, multiple moving averages, what it takes to remain in the trend. Uh, tough market out there. doesn't mean uh, there aren't days that uh, we struggle a little bit, but uh, patience and discipline is the key in waiting for your setups. Hey, thanks for watching the video. We do it every day. It's a good... Uh, idea to always go over your training day and see what you did right and see what you went wrong what you could have done better so you learn for the next day in this uh rocky market hey i have no idea where we're going tomorrow i could just be uh, ready on my charts and all is good hey guys have yourselves a blue zone day if i forgot to share anything i'm sure i'll remember and i will share it tomorrow good day good night and good trading to you